Can coconut oil cure HIV? Hey gang, it's Joe Cannon from SupplementClarity.com and Joe-Cannon.com and that's going to be the topic for today's video, coconut oil and HIV. This is actually a question I was asked in the comments of a previous video I did uh, on black seed oil and the HIV virus. So I'll put a link to that in the description so you could check that out if you missed it. But today we'll talk about coconut oil as it relates to the HIV and AIDS virus. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it and see what we can figure out. Again, I want to leave opinions out out and uh, conspiracy theories and focus just on the research. And here's what I discovered. So when I went to the National Library of Medicine, which is a repository of millions of scientific studies from around the world, and I typed in coconut and HIV, I really didn't find anything. Uh, again, I use the Latin name for coconut, and, you know, over here, as well as HIV. I find three studies, and none of them really are the type of study I'm looking for, which is essentially, let's take people up with HIV in the lab, let's give them coconuts uh, or coconut oil or its uh, various ingredients and see if that has any effect on the HIV virus, lowering CD4 counts, uh, or raising CD4 counts, etc. Uh, I can't find any evidence of that. I do see various uh, opinion pieces, it looks like, uh, where they discuss how coconut oil may help treat uh, STDs. That's very interesting. Uh, in terms of monolaurin, which I'll talk about in a moment, monolaurin is a uh, compound that we make when we eat coconuts or an ingredient in coconut. Um, and I looked at that and you know tried to find any evidence where it also had an effect on uh, humans with HIV. Again, didn't see an awful lot. So um, that still doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't do anything because various studies do, do uh, make reference to the fact that coconut oil does have antifungal, antiviral, antibacterial, immune, immunostimulant properties, uh, be an antioxidant, etc. Um, and and that's great. Um, and when it comes to the virus, antiviral properties of coconut oil. Uh, monolaurin is often the ingredient, uh, the compound, if you will, that's actually studied and the theory behind how monolaurin might work is by uh, disrupting the outer coat of the virus, the envelope of the virus, if you will, knocking it out and allowing the immune system the ability to destroy the virus. That's the theory that I've seen uh, in quite a few uh, investigations on this topic. So what is monolaurin? Well, it's a compound that we make when we eat lauric acid. Lauric acid is a medium chain triglyceride. Uh, MCT for short. That's actually in coconut as well as other things. And when we eat lauric acid, we make monolaurin. Uh, another name for monolaurin is uh, glycerol monolaurates. I put that up there in case you're doing your own investigations. So monolaurin is actually a dietary supplement uh, that you may find at your local health food stores as well as online. And it's often marketed as being a immune stimulant or something along those lines. Um, the supplement actually kind of makes a little bit of sense in that it's debatable how much monolaurin we can make from lauric acid. I saw various studies saying we may not be very good at making it from scratch when we take uh, lauric acid or coconut oil. So uh, that makes sense why there might be supplements uh, bypassing the lauric acid, stepping going right to monolaurin. Now, when I looked at this further, I found this paper from 2006, Review of Monolaurin and Lauric Acid Natural Virocytal and Bactericidal Agents. Virocytal and bactericidal essentially means they're making reference to the fact that monolaurin crush, kills, and destroys uh, viruses and bacteria. Um, and a very interesting study. Uh, this review makes reference to a paper that was presented in the year 2000 of a small investigation involving 15 people that were given monolaurin for six months and some of these individuals appeared to get better. Uh, their, 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 their viral load got better and their HIV symptoms seem to have uh, gotten, gotten better as well. This may be the reason why coconut oil and or monolaurin has uh, uh, the reputation it does in, in some people. Um, they, these researchers do point out that the reduction uh, in viral load was significant for only three of the people of, of, of the 15, 15 that were in investigation. Okay, that may, that's interesting, but it may point out that monolaurin and coconut oil may not be the magic bullet that some people make out, make it out to be. 
Um, they also go on to say that uh, the researchers were looking for funding for a larger investigation to be carried out in the future. Uh, if they ever did get funding, I can't find if the study was ever published anywhere, so I don't have any inside information on this. I can only tell you that I, I can't find where this pilot study, this beginning study, if you will, this small study of 15 people uh, was ever published. If it was, I can't find it. It looks like it was presented at a scientific convention in the year 2000. And if they ever did come out with a larger investigation, I cannot locate that either. Um, if any of you watching this video are aware of that investigation where it might be published, uh, please do leave a link in the description. I would love to take a look at it and discuss it with you. Um, and I understand why some people might be saying, you know, they probably never got funding because of conspiracies and all that stuff. Uh, you know, I honestly can't deny the fact that uh, Big Pharma probably is not going to be funding a study of a cheap alternative <laughs> to expensive medications. That does make sense to me. Uh, but, you know, you can always go fund, uh, get funding from somewhere else. Where else? I don't know. Uh, it's just something that, uh, you know, something occurred to me as I as I read this. But again, I have no inside information on what, what, the, what actually ultimately became of this. I, I really do wish other people would have investigated this and followed up. I'd like to have seen more investigations. Um, this uh, paper also makes, makes reference to the fact that monolaurin can inactivate or destroy the human, human in, immunodeficiency virus, the HIV virus, as well as a bunch of other viruses as well. And the references, the source of the information for these, uh, the proof, if you will, for this is references 14 and 17 of this particular paper. So I went and, and, and scrolled down to the bottom of the paper and took a look at these uh, 14, reference 14 is essentially a book uh, that came out in 1998. I couldn't find the book. Uh, and reference 17 was essentially uh, a presentation at a scientific convention, uh, it looks like, in 1999. These may be fine references. Uh, I prefer clinical studies so I can go to the library and find them myself and read them. Um, again, I just want to throw that out to you. Uh, you got a book, you got a, uh, a presentation from, you know, 1999. But again, uh, whether or not, you know, these, they may be fantastic, may have a lot of uh, clinical uh, relevance, but uh, I prefer the clinical studies. That's just, you know, where I'm coming from. So um, to be perfectly fair and honest, I did see this, uh, rev this, this article from 2009 where monolaurin appeared to prevent the transmission of the simian immunodeficiency virus, the SIV virus, which is similar to, in some respects, to the HIV virus in humans. Um, that's interesting. I didn't see much more on this. I most certainly didn't see anything involving humans. And I kind of understand why, uh, why they might not test that in humans. It's maybe, there might be an ethical reason. It's hard to say. Uh, but uh, regardless, uh, it may have some effect, at least in transmission uh, in the simian virus. In theory, maybe that also might work with HIV. But again, we have no proof either way. And if there is, I can't find it. So um, it does coconut uh, oil or monolaurin work in terms of reducing uh, the uh, HIV virus? I can't say either way, guys, because I have no uh, clinical evidence one way or the other. And clinical evidence meaning take it into the lab, let's test it in human beings. Uh, you know, I, I, hopefully one day we will have that research. And again, if it is out there and I missed it, leave a comment below and I'd love to take a look at it and discuss it with you. Uh, but that's what I figured out when I took a look at this. So uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'd love to discuss it with you. But um, that is what I was able to uncover or not uncover, depending on your point of view. So guys, until next time, I'm Joe Cannon. Have yourself a fantastic day and I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.